the more devices like the new Fab 2 Pro uh, or BK's new shoes <coughs> we will sell, the more demand for reliable, flexible infrastructure there will be. So this is a business opportunity and an innovation focus for both Lenovo and our business partners. Within our data center business, we think that uh, hyper-converged infrastructure is one of the exciting new areas for innovation. It's a core building block to the software-defined data center of the future. The same way some smartphones brought uh, separate functions like uh, cameras, music players, and the phones together, hyper-converged ar architecture will break down silos enable faster deployment, easier scalability, and a lower operating expense. So <clears throat> it's pretty exciting as well, right? So next, let's uh, dig into the next generation of inf infrastructure technology, specifically hyper-converged infrastructure and the software-defined data center. Jerry Smith, president of our data center group, please. Thanks, YY. And you're right, data is everywhere. It's exploding. There's more than ever before. This is a huge opportunity for Lenovo, and to be honest, the marketplace. Data centers must evolve in response to what are connected world and big data. They must be open, flexible, but they gotta be fast and responsive also. Lenovo is driving a, a ton of its own innovation. We're also combining our innovation with our partners and leading technology companies around the world and here in the Valley. This is how we create the, what we call new IT, or the next generation IT. Not the old stuff from down the road, the real true new IT. This is how we're gonna connect the world with public clouds, private clouds, and hybrid clouds. Lenovo is also a st strong provider in many parts of the world to the public cloud or the hyperscale market. We also provide high performance computing to the traditional infrastructure for private clouds on premise. And we're also partnering with you know, leading partners like Nutanix to create hyperscale solutions for, that are scalable and they can go both le leverage both public and private clouds. But one of the things we've done in the last six quarters is partnerships. It's critical we bring these capabilities together as there's a massive inflection point going on in the marketplace right now in new generation IT. We're laser focused on finding the best partners and working with them to bring the best innovation to market. When I had the opportunity to speak today, I really thought about who should I bring on stage with me today to really talk about the infrastructure future. And I'm very pleased to welcome one of the Silicon Valley icons, the founder of Juniper and the CTO, Pradeep Sandhu. Hey, Jerry. Good morning. Good morning. So we're backstage, you know, talking to BK. He gave us a, a, a piece of data that said, one terabyte a minute in storage with his, some of his technologies coming out with. So a lot of people are saying, you know, the cloud's built out. With 5G, all these capabilities, Tango, give us your thoughts on, this is a massive inflection point in the industry. You're a perfect guy to talk about it. I'd be very happy to do it. Well, thanks for inviting me here. You know, with the Fab2 Pro, what we saw this morning was a stunning example of how people are going to, it's a glimpse into the future of how people are going to engage with computers. Um, they'll engage with computers in a very natural way. The flip side of that is gonna be computers engaging with the physical world, that's yet to come. But there's infrastructure that actually enables this behind the scenes. And so what is that infrastructure? There are some very, very big things happening, and this is really the basis of the partnership between Lenovo and Juniper. And what's happening in infrastructure is that computing, storage, and networking are going to come together in absolutely unique and novel ways to provide advances that are going to be stunning. There's no other word for it. Over the next decade, you will see stunning advan advances. And how do I know this? You know, there's four trends that are completely visible today. First is that we live in a hyper-connected world. Correct. Why do I mention that in his speech? 
Um, everything is connected to everything else with a latency of less than 100 milliseconds around the world. Second one is that you know, we're beginning to see the early signs of uh, tailing off of Moore's law. So individual devices aren't going to get much faster. So what that means is we're going to have swarms of devices connected together by a network. This means that the network becomes more and more important. Well, the third one is we're in a race to the cloud. Uh, you mentioned cloud as being phenomenally important. I think that in this coming era, uh, you will have data centers of all sizes, small, medium, large, enormous ones with computing that is connected together with the network and storage. A question on that. A lot of people believe that there's three or four big public cloud players, and that's it. From a Lenovo perspective, we actually think there's going to be a variety of forms of the cloud. Absolutely believe that some of the big players are going to be there. But we also think geographically, yeah. as well as there'll be on-prem clouds, there'll be the large clouds, there'll be privacy. What are some of your thoughts of this, that, that I'll say, massive disruption? This is exactly the case. When, when you look at the latency that human beings expect, uh, you know, we need latencies on the order of three milliseconds. You cannot deliver latencies of three milliseconds if you're putting a data center 500 miles away. OK, data centers, you're going to have small ones, you're going to have medium ones, you'll have super large ones. And there'll be probably more than three guys providing super large data centers. But all of these uh, data centers, small, medium, large, will be interconnected with a phenomenally capable network. And storage is going to be put in the massively uh, scalable data centers, but it'll, keep, it'll be cached closer to where people use it. So let's ask a question to the crowd. What, one of the biggest frustrations I know, at least at my home, is the ever-spinning waiting for the website to respond, Wait, correct? I mean, that's, and I think that's where what Pradeep's talking about. This is what we need to solve as an industry and a company, exactly. where you get real-time, instant, on capabilities. The single biggest frustration that people have, including myself, with computers is that they are too slow for human beings, not the other way around. We cannot wait. So there is a lot of things for Lenovo and Juniper to do because we're completely complementary. Uh, Lenovo has strengths in storage and computing. Juniper has strengths in security and networking. And you know, literally, we're going we're gonna to go do phenomenal things uh, hand in glove. What's that fourth point? You, you talked about the first three points, but... Well, the fourth point is the point about security. Um, as the world becomes more and more connected, uh, you know, there are bad actors out there, and they're going after uh, the information, uh, where, uh, the valuable information. And valuable information is all kept in servers. And so we've got to protect the infrastructure, and we've got to protect the information that rides on top of the infrastructure. So security is the fourth big trend. Uh, and you know, um, we, we do live today in an insecure world, and so we have to address that. And it's a race between, it's an arms race between the bad guys and the good guys. Thank you. And so what we're going to do together, Juniper and Lenovo, is we're really going to race to the cloud together. We're going to ensure we provide that leading technology. We're going to make sure that we, we solve that problem and have that, you know, that latency problem. That's the frustration. And, and again, as Tango and that technology explodes, you know, the, the strain on the existing cloud is, is going to be tremendous. Yes. There, just from a, a market opportunity perspective, a financial opportunity, it's tremendous. And I think addressing the security issues as well, but very excited to have you here today. I know with what you do at Juniper as well as Pradeep has investments in a number of other companies in the Valley as well to help address these issues. And we look forward to partnering with you and, and solving the problems for the customers and, and the infrastructure industry. And we will amaze together. Thank, Thank you, you very, very much. much. Appreciate it, Pradeep.